We're going to start our Gatling journey by downloading the tool directly from the website, gatling.io. There are other ways to install Gatling, namely from your build tools such as Gradle, but we will look at that later in the course. For now, we will just download from the website. So on the Gatling website, we click on Getting Started, Download. Let's click on Download Now to download the zip file. I'm going to save it in C slash Gatling, but you can save it anywhere you like. Now that it is downloaded, let's extract the zip file. And that's it, Gatling is now installed. To run Gatling, let's open a terminal or command prompt, depending on which operating system you are using, and browse to the directory that we installed Gatling. Change to the bin folder. From here, we can either run gatling.bat if you are on Windows, or gatling.sh if you are on a Mac or Unix. I'm on Windows, so I will run the bat file. When Gatling launches, it will check that the Java development kit is installed and that the environment variable is set. If you don't have the JDK installed, see the link in the resources that will help you download and install it for your operating system. We can see that Gatling ships with a few example simulations. Press 0 to choose the basic simulation. Enter a simulation ID and a run description. Gatling will now execute the basic simulation. It makes a series of requests to an example website hosted by Gatling. The test completes in around 20 seconds or so. Congratulations, you just installed Gatling and executed your first test. In the next video, we will take our first look at the Gatling recorder. In this video, we are going to look at how the Gatling recorder works and how it can help us with Gatling script creation. There are two main ways to create performance test scripts in Gatling, either from writing out the code manually or from using the Gatling recorder. Personally, I prefer to write the code manually, but I still find the Gatling recorder useful for getting a quick basic script in place, and the recorder is particularly useful when you are first starting out with Gatling. Launch the recorder from the terminal by browsing to the Gatling bin directory and running either recorder.bat if you are on Windows or recorder.sh if you are on Mac or Linux. The recorder GUI is launched. Let's talk through some of the options. There are two modes that the recorder can run in. HTTP proxy mode, which captures all the traffic from your browser for a proxy, and HAR converter, which converts a HTTP archive file. I prefer the HAR converter as it gives you more control and has a lot less overhead with the recording setup. It is also much easier to set up HTTPS recording if you require that, and it's the mode I suggest you to use. In the HAR converter, we simply need to provide a HAR file to the recorder. We will see how to generate a HAR file in the next video. There are a few other options we can change here, such as the package and the class name for our script. We can also configure whether to follow redirects, infer HTML resources, remove cache headers, and others. For now, just leave everything unchanged. This is the output folder where our scripts will be saved. Again, we will leave this unchanged for now. In the next video, we will capture the load of a complex web page into a HTTP archive file, a HAR file. The Gatling recorder will then use this to generate our script. We are now going to see how to create a HTTP archive file in Google Chrome and how to use that HAR file to create a Gatling script. First, open up Google Chrome and enable the developer tools. Click on the network tab. The site we are going to record our first script against is www.skynews.com. Go there in the browser now. We can see the traffic being captured in Chrome Developer Tools when we load the page. What we will do now is reload the page and capture the traffic again. First, click the Clear button to clear all the previous traffic captured. Then click the Preserve Log button and make sure the recording button is red. Now refresh the home page to load it again and capture all the traffic. 
Finally, right click within Developer Tools and choose Save as HAR with Content. I'm just going to save this file to the desktop. This is our HAR file. Now open the Gatling Recorder again, bring up a terminal and browse to the Gatling bin directory. Launch the recorder again. Change the recorder mode to HAR Converter and browse to the HAR file that we just saved. Finally, click Start to create the Gatling script. We get a message that the HAR file was successfully converted to a Gatling simulation. Let's take a look at that simulation file now. Open a new command prompt and browse to the Gatling installation folder. Change directory to user files slash simulations. I'm going to open the file that we just created called recordedsimulation.scala with sublime text. Feel free to open this file in any text editor that you wish. This is our Gatling simulation file for loading the homepage of Sky News. As we can see, the file is very large and there is a lot going on in here. To load the homepage of this website, there are many calls to many URLs. This is probably not a good first site to use when learning Gatling, but I wanted to show you the level of detail that Gatling will capture. In the next video, we will capture the user journey on a less complex website so that we can better learn what is going on. In video 5, after we installed Gatling, we ran a sample script that ships with Gatling. That script runs against this website, computer-database.gatling.io, which is a test site designed to teach Gatling. In this video, we will record our own test script against this site. Let's first walk through the user journey that we are going to record. First, we will refresh the homepage to capture the traffic of loading the page initially. Then we will click Add a new computer, we will fit in the details and click Create this computer. Then we will search for the computer that was created. And finally, we will click on that computer to view its details. We are now ready to start recording. Let's open up Chrome Developer Tools as before. Make sure we are on the Network tab. Preserve Log is ticked and we are recording. Now let's start the journey. First, we refresh the home page. Now click Add New Computer. Fill in the details and click Create this computer. search for the computer and finally click on it. Now right click in developer tools and save the HAR file. I'll just save it to the desktop again. Let's go back to the Gatling recorder. If you need to open it again, make sure to browse to the bin directory of the Gatling folder and run the recorder.bat file or recorder.sh if you're on Mac or Unix. Again in the recorder, choose HAR converter and select the HAR file that we just saved. Let's give it a different class name this time. Call it Gatling Database. Click Start to create the HAR file. Now let's open the script that we just created. Go to the Gatling directory and user files slash simulations and open the file in a text editor. This is our Gatling script. Let's have a look through it and see what is going on. At the top of the script is some data on HTTP headers that was captured. We don't have to worry about this for now. Further down is the main body of the script in the scenario. 
This is where our user journey steps are captured. Looking at the code, we can see where we browse to the home page. Then to the new page. We can also see here that we loaded some CSS resources when we opened this page. This is where we submitted the new computer. We made a post call with some form parameters that were all captured by Gatling. We then searched for the computer. And finally, we loaded the details for that computer by clicking on the link. Right at the bottom of the script is where the load profile is created. We can see for this script that it just runs with a single user. We are going to be looking at all of these sections of the Gatling script in the upcoming videos of this course, so don't worry if anything is unclear at this moment. The aim of this video was just to show you how the Gatling recorder can capture a user journey and convert it into a raw script for us. In the next video, we will edit this script slightly and then execute it in Gatling. In the previous video, we created a Gatling script from the HAR file we recorded. It would be good to run this script now in Gatling and see if it works. Before we do that, let's change the names of the transactions from request1, request4, etc. so that something more meaningful shows up in the test report. Change this request to the load homepage. Change this one to load new computer page. Change this one to create new computer. Change this one to search computer. And change this one to view computer page. Finally, change all the pause times to one second so that we don't have to wait too long for the script to execute. Now save the script. In the command prompt, go back to the Gatling bin folder. Run gatling.bat if you're on Windows or gatling.sh if you're on Mac. It might take a few seconds to load. Press 0 to execute the Gatling DB script that we just created. Press enter twice to leave the defaults for simulation ID and description. The script will now execute quite quickly. Let's see if it worked. Go onto the computer database site again and search for the name of the computer. We can see that there are two entries now, which suggests the script has created a new computer for us. Let's take a look at the results report. Go to the Gatling directly and change to the results directory. Change to the Gatling database directory and open index.html. This is our test result report. We can see the transaction names have changed to the names that we specified. There are also some additional transactions being recorded here we can see. We will be looking at the test results report in much more detail later on in the course. In the next section, we will be setting up our Gatling script development environment for our project, as well as setting up the application that we will be testing against.